What's up guys, my name is Section from the Deviants and today we're going to be reacting to Steins Gate episode 11. The title for this episode is called Dogma in Event Horizon, which I believe dogma, gosh, what is, what is the definition of dogma? I think it's like something like a, like a thought process or like an idea that was set by um, like an authority figure as true, something like that. As for Event Horizon, uh, I believe Okabe has talked about Event Horizon before, but I don't remember. There's also a theory I have that there's an actual like main timeline that all the other timelines kind of like use as a reference, but that's for that's for another time, maybe in the future. So last episode, we got some things happening with Suzuwa, but we also witnessed probably the most uncomfortable event that I've ever seen in my life. There was a million different ways Okabe could have handled that situation, and he chose probably one of the worst ways to deal with it. But without further ado, let's get straight on into it. Make sure to support the original content, as always. Alright, let's get going in 3, 2, 1, and bah. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to the distract sound. your boss for five seconds so he doesn't notice the pandemonium going on upstairs. Target in oh, why is she running? Is she an Olympic sprinter? They run in a damn circus up there! Uh... Why did it stop? Oh wait, is the is the TV the the lifter thing? Gosh, think bug, right? Because um, Maki say was talking about how they needed like a lifter and something for the the time machine, the D mail to work, but they didn't know what it was. Wait, so let me get this straight: the forty-two inch TV down there has been acting as the lifter all this time. Oh yeah, that's right. Was brains against brawn. <laughs> I can't believe it actually funny. hit me. In other words, it's time we try to send someone into the past physically. You do remember certain subjects turning into pudding, don't you? Uh, it's more jello. Nobody likes a braggart. Bragging to you? That's rich. Look at the title. Long story short, the brain stores our memories in the form of electrical impulses. Yep. It's just data like any other. We'd have to convert their memories into data and send it like a D-mail. But instead of a phone, it goes into their past self's head. Then you become your earlier you. Huh. The master plan is poised for its great so unfailing. So instead of your body time traveling, it's Name your for a Norn of yore, begin memory Operation time traveling. Verdandi. Say what? The phone wave probably can't compress all that data without a bunch of add-ons. That's all. And and what? Nothing. No, 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 nothing. Um, what happens to this you after your memories get sent back? Cause your body's still here. True. Is your head all empty or what? Hmm. That's a good question. And also, you know how we're having this conversation right now, Ogreen? What happens if we don't have this conversation the second time around? In that case, I assume. You'd remember this talk, but not I. I'm trying to wrap my head around all this. Oh, look! It's Malika! Huh? <laughs> what the heck? You look even more serious than usual. She looks crazy. As usual. And guess what? Now we can do a time leap with someone's memories! Don't just blurt it out! Oh my uh, gosh. Oh. Malika's a lab member! She's double below five! Yeah, but not yeah, out in the still. open. Memories? Uh, Moika? Huh? Wait! Where are you going? So weird. So weird. Hey, Amayi! <laughs> I'm glad to see you oh, too, Oh, where's Bron? Where'd you come from? How's it hanging? Oh. I'm sorry. My dad shouldn't have been so mean before. Thank you, Nai. But I've been a thorn in your father's side since the day I moved in. Kinda had it coming. 
Not like you to be so patient with her. And less crazy. What do you mean? He's a very patient person. Is he? Sure. You want to head back up to the lab? No, probably better not. Christina sent me out to scavenge for parts. <sighs> we gotta figure out what's with tell you this, your thing, she Christina. Works for CERN. What? Wait, what? No, how do you give us this information and then just walk away? Christina? A CERN mole? Doubtful. That was just, Would that even make any sense? How is the evolution coming along? Evolution? Of the phone wave. You know, those parts you had me buy? Oh, yeah. That. I'll get on it. You mean you haven't started on it? I'm worried about what'll happen if we actually do this. But it's more than just that. Go on. As much as I don't want to have this conversation, I guess it's kind of unfair to keep you in the dark. You're actually a blonde. Okay, so things between my dad and I are kind of rough. When I was little, I loved to hear him talk about the intricacies of his work. By the time I was in middle school, I understood the science behind the talk. I'd been knocking down his theories, one after the next, pointing out his mistakes. No. Oh. I shamed him. Okay, now I see. Emasculated him. Academia kicked him to the curb. The last time I saw him, what he said, word for word, was, I don't need your pity. How dare you look down on me? I'm your dad, you little bitch. In that case, let us begin Operation Verdandi without delay. We Verdandi? haven't any time to waste. The organization snaps at our very heels. That's your reply? Where is your father now? Huh? Oh, in Almery. Why? Travel will be expensive, but no matter. Really pick the day and I will free up my schedule. Whoa, wait. You have a free schedule anyways. We're gonna go see my dad? Of course we are. You're undoubtedly a top-notch scientist, but my ambitions require you to be unfettered by regrets. So you're telling me just when I get used to you being an ass, you're gonna say something nice. <laughs> yeah, well, he likes to only in so far as... switch things up. <laughs> What's so funny? Want a list? Yeah, yeah. And no wussing out. You're in this with me, even if I have to drag you kicking and screaming. <laughs> I doubt you'll have to. Da, da, da. Oh gosh, what what what's wrong with you? Are you okay, my Who are you? Just a little bit further. Yeah, just a random stranger? That was her moment. You are so full of it! Who is this Makisei chap, anyway? It's me, <laughs> damn it! Well, see, there's the rub. If only you'd deigned to write Christina on the lid, we could have avoided this whole pudding fracas. You've won too many aliases. I shouldn't have to write anything, you big mooch! You big mooch? Oh, hey, it's me! <sighs> hey, what you got there? Apparently bricks. My sleepover stuff? You're crashing here? Yep. It seems we've got a pudding thief running around. <laughs> oh, means something or other. I really can't be bothered to remember it exactly. <sighs> it's Kyoma. Hoween Kyoma. Pay attention. Oh, like you're such a superstar with names. At least mine is real. Maybe I shouldn't spend the night. Uh, no, I don't mind sticking around. So long as pudding thief here is sleeping somewhere else. In the shower. My soul is tied to these very floorboards. We are as one. He's gonna be laying on the ground. Why do I have to do the shopping for their stupid sleepover? Some trick of fate has left me as my own assistant's errand boy. Yeah, says the reigning king of cocky. Huh? <laughs> what now? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, we gotta do this before Okabe gets back. Oh, cosplay? She's doing cosplay? More demands, I assume. My goodness. I you know- You- Uh. Where's the pudding picture? <laughs> chills, chills each and every time those text messages get sent. Mayuri. Mayuri. Oh, oh, this animation. Mayuri. Why does he give me like take on me vibes? Uh. 
Ooh. <laughs> you. Oh, I can't believe you. You are such an ass. Oh my goodness gracious. So many emotions happening all the oh. What is your problem anyway? You okay? Ocarine? I don't know hey, how I feel sorry. right now. I thought you'd gone home for the day. I tried to log in from my home computer, but uh the lab PC wouldn't allow it. What's the issue? Well, it's spoken for, because we're already connected. To CERN. What? So we've been connected this whole time? Maybe. I don't know. I'd like to chalk it up to my badass hacking, but I really have no idea what's up with this. Wait, how are you it's connected like to CERN? It's like the door wide open for us or something. What a crazy picture. What you looking at? That's ridiculous. Is there a problem with your phone? There's a problem with everything. I, I, honestly, I would be so scared if I was Okabe. I, I would be the guy that'd be paranoid. I like how the first half of this episode was just like calm, you know, oh yeah, they're trying to figure out, you know, how things work and stuff like that. And then like the very end, like the very last what seven five minutes it just it revved up out of nowhere i'm like what the freak is going on but let's start at the beginning so uh the idea of sending your mind to the past you know i've watched other series that have talked about you know they can make a di digital representation of your brain because you know your brain is all about just chemicals and electrical signals but i think this is the first time i've ever heard about sending your brain to the past as some sort of like time travel thing whatever right so i like how this i like how this show doesn't just use like the mainstream like time travel thing like they they're finding different ways to kind of i guess reinvent the wheel of time travel maybe it's just i haven't watched much a bunch of time travel things but the idea of sending text messages back in time and sending your memories back in time is something that i don't think i've seen anywhere else i was on track with this concept interior interior until Maori started asking a bunch of questions that got me super confused. So I'm wondering like how this would affect Okabe if they were to send the memories of someone else back in time. Would he still remember? Also, what the freak was happening with Maori and uh, Makise? Here, I thought it was going to be some sort of cosplay thing. And nothing I saw reminded me of cosplay. Unless we're dealing with a Yosuke Nasora, but still. Uh, but those... the. The ending, the, it, it caused so many emotions, so many emotions. First of all, those, that person that, that texts Okabe, creepy as heck. Here I thought, oh, they're gonna send another Jello. No, no, it was a, like a Chucky head full of blood. What? So then I was like, oh, you know, they're doing another threat. But then Okabe starts thinking of Mayuri, which then gets me wondering like, oh my gosh, are they going after Mayuri? So here he is running. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, somebody's gonna die right now. You know, it wouldn't be the first time. And then he gets into the apartment and all lights are off. So I'm wondering, okay, something had to have gone down because the last time we saw Makise and Mayuri, the lights were on and they were doing stuff. So the lights are off. That means no one's there. And that means some, something happened. But then they, then the shower scene popped up and then like, what, what was, was I supposed to be relieved? Was I supposed to be like intrigued? What the heck is going on here? And then we find out CERN has been connected to, uh, with them this whole time, which is crazy because I I don't believe in this timeline they even obtained that IBM 5100. Therefore, they they never hacked into the CERN um, archive thing. Can I be? Am I wrong in that sense? And I'm torn on this subject of should Okabe like tell them about this person that like hey they're watching us you know we should be scared. But on the other hand, Okabe should definitely keep this quiet because we, he doesn't know really who to trust. I mean, Amane put it in his head that uh, Makise could be a spy. And then also he found out that CERN has been connected into the computers the whole time. So they could be listening in somehow. So maybe, maybe he is right to keep this to himself. But I'm not too sure. Man, if I was Okabe, I would be stressing the freak out. Which I think he is stressing out. But like, I don't know what it is, but like I can feel the stress crazy crazy episode so that was my reaction to steins gate episode 11 if you like my reaction make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want me to know anything more put in the comment section down below and i will see you guys next time bye